Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in the Outer Worlds. Quite a pretty game, at least from what we can see right now. But we are on our way to go to the town leader after we met Ernest in the back there a little while ago and told him that the guards killed themselves or something like that. And I totally didn't accidentally shoot people in the back of the head or in the front of their face. Totally didn't happen at all. So, um, yeah. Meters isn't too bad. Oh. This is an enemy. And I have a shotgun. Only good things can happen if we are in stealth. And we can stealthily pop someone's head off with a shotgun. Oh, where is that? That did not as much as I would have hoped. Alright. Very nice. The shotgun isn't very good. Yeah, the shotgun is not very good. Holy cap. Yeah, give me this pistol back. Holy crap. Uh, and reload. Oh, I was so destined to love that shotgun, but apparently not. How quite unfortunate. Marauders. The scum of the earth. The true scum of the earth. I thought I died there. I'm going to be legit honest with you. I thought I died there. Oh, But anyways. Well, welcome back to uh, the Outer Worlds. Oh, I got a pistol back. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not going to use that shotgun again. That was pretty garbo. These guys all have pistols. Which makes sense. Let's see if we can get a little bit more health. Um, healing stuff. Consumables. Let's see. Plus 20... Ooh. Tartarus, Tartarus sauce. Can I just use it? Thank you. And I might need a little bit more health. There we go. Cool. That should heal us a little bit more. Did I? Yeah, I think I already checked this body. Um, you know what? Actually, let's go back over here. Let's get rid of this thing. This is garbage tier. Holy crap. This was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, that's not really... Oh, it's... Con Condition is worthless. No wonder it was so bad. Oh. Well, um, let's see. Can I... How do we do this? Bring you back down here. And if I break you down, I get... Eh, it's only one part. It's sell value 6.3. I might just go ahead and sell that. Pistols. I'm also put you back up here. Cool. Awesome. Uh, should we go under the cave? No, well, maybe another way. Let's go up the, to the top. Let's see the world through the top. Oh, thank you very much. Alright, lots of jumping. A little bit of platforming is needed here. Um, I'd like a little bit more health than that, please. Thank you. Uh, can I use you? Oh, a 200... Oh, natural health regen. That's interesting. Um... Okay, let's see. That should help, yep. That should definitely help a little bit. Gosh, yeah, using that shotgun was such a bad idea. I didn't know it was reliability was so bad, or it's durability, really. Uh, very nice, very nice. Oh, it's kind of beautiful out here. Edgewater, huh? Hmm, there's nothing I can pick up. Uh, is this a... something? Oh, hey, where'd you come from? I came from... Up north, Don't or go ambling from... out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Oh, I'm just snub. Dum dum. How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Hmm, low prices. Nice to meet. Oh, we can lie. Let's see, if we can lie. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. I thought you said. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Oh. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Oh, I love family. Let's see, by my way, Junior in humor. Mm, yeah. A little bit of money sounds kind of nice. Got a knack for being discreet like? There's money to be made, long as you keep your nose clean. Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Ooh. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. 
Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Hmm. You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can do that. Make people pay for their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. And let's see. Quotas mostly. Got a backlog of graves to fill. Bodies won't bury themselves, you know. Well, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why are you special because you actually said his last name? Why is he a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Nice. Um, is there anything else? Yeah. Anything else we can get about this guy? Um, you could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're survivors. Loyal company folk, brave in the wilds. Oh. Every now and again, a virulent plague sweeps through our town. That's life on the frontier, I suppose. A body grows accustomed. All right, and we'll finish off with a power regulator. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop hmm. by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Alright, cool. Oh, okay. Hello? Huh? What? I wasn't dozing off. Beats working at the cannery. Oh, cannery must suck. Oh, the Edgewater. Employment community. Oh. Is this for me? No? Oh, plus 100 XP. I love XP. There's nothing else around here, so let's go in. Very nice. All oh, right. Ah, more XP. My favorite. Kind of reminds me of We Happy Few a little bit. Just a little bit. Resident. It's another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking What's this? this? Cantina. Anything special in here? The latest report. Don't have time for this. Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. I don't know you. Uh, hi, Mr. Mocha Lover. Um, I am Alex Hawthorne, obviously. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. Jeez, look at her eyes. Ooh. Um, perception. Ooh, charm. Ooh, let's be a little charming. You really think so? That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Ah, uh, sure. What's on tap? Coming right up. Oh, merchant skill. Your merchant skill is equivalent to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling from vendors. Right, I get a f whole 5% discount. Uh, how much do I have? I have is, that, is that the bits? 39? Oh god, I only have... Hmm. <laughs> Dehydrated water tablets. Interesting. Body attributes plus one last thirty seconds. Ooh, zero G brew. Hmm. Caffeine. <laughs> Ingredients: ninety nine percent water. All right. Uh, yeah, you don't have anything else except stuff. It is a watering hole, so, and you probably don't buy guns. But you know what? They might just buy guns. Uh, let's see. One hundred percent condition. 
100% condition, value 7.5, 7.5. Let me get rid of one of these. Cool. Oh, and we can also get rid of one of these. Condition. Is it better to sell it here or wait to sell it to someone else for a higher price? You might be able to get it for a higher price somewhere else. Ooh. Well, I don't need either one of these, so I might as well sell this for now. Um, yeah. Other than that, let's get out of here. Thank you very much, Amelia Kim. Thank you very much. Steel? Well, I'm not here to steal right now. Canary Wharf here. Is anyone else here who's interesting? Um. Oh. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Winslow. Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again? Um... Edgewater. Edgewater. Jewel of the Veil. Vale. May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh... What's it called? Productivity. That's the one. Oh. Yep, that's us. Productive. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. Wait. I don't wow. start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero G brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? Um, that doesn't sound healthy. Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Ooh. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on Zero G Brew. Like me! After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. Oh, I hear you, man. I hear you. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. Um. Okay. Uh, who are you? Can I talk to you? Sorry, no. I've got a lot to do. All right, it seems like that's pretty much it. I'm not going to steal that stuff for now. Uh, I'm not going to go in the back for now. Let's see who else is around here. Halcyon. Where else are we? Oh. Esther Blaine. Green hair. Ooh. I've got some time. Are you a prostitute? Oh, I'm an actuary. Oh, that okay. That I keep tabs on a worker's <gasps> living expenses. How much it costs uh -oh. to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Um, well, alright. See you. Oh, see you later then. What's this? Is this like a newspaper stand or something? Wanted, dead or alive. Guillaume on trim. Um, rid of execution, effective immediately. Former Space Choice's associate mechanic. Who is this? A Bert Bertie Cotton. Effective immediately. In Edgewater Vicarage. Alright, and Doc Maybell Burgess. Any more? Nope. Cool. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Hello. Anyone home? Yes, Mr. Thompson. <gasps> this is Abernathy. Yep. Well, uh, did uh did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow, because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Um, yeah, let's do our perception. You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? You bet I am. Hmm. What? No. I mean, uh, I might be. That depends on who's asking. Let's see. Just collect the fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Hmm? No. He told me everything? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Oh. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Hmm. Oh, man. What, uh... You're being paranoid. 
Yeah, let's do that one. I am. Law, help me. Paranoia oh. is one of the plague's known really? symptoms. Really? I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see your way to freelancing for me, I could really Ooh. use the help. There's a cache of ant bacillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Oh. Um. I'll do what I can. I assume there are guards, right? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Well, uh, this is really pointless to ask this question, but we'll do it anyways. I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Hmm. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. So you'll do it then? Uh, you know what? We'll say we'll do it, but it doesn't mean we actually have to do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Uh. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. I know that. Big risk. And I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Well then, all right. Well, if it sounds like if we don't help him, we could steal this, but whatever. I we could help him, but if we don't help him in time. It sounds like he could very well die on us, and that's not going to be in my conscience. So. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Oh, okay. It's not stealing if no one claims it. You're needing nothing but salt um, tuna for a year. Oh, it looks like a workbench over here. All right. Let's see. Modify. I don't have anything, any sort of thing yet. Like, yeah, we got no mods or anything like that. Workbench modifications. Is it just magazines for that? Hmm. Armor? Yeah, I got nothing for that either. Cool. Well, I guess that's not really cool. But what is that? Bypass shunt. I'll take that. Anything around here? An interest. Is this for power armor? Alright, well. What is this? Terminal. Will I give you lemons? Consider a free trial from your friends at Spacer's Choice. Oh. Double ticket. Steps to repro reproduce. Probably not the way I'm thinking about how to reproduce, but okay. Um, Alright, these are just logs. Failure. Um, Alright, trouble ticket. Just see if there's any sort of extra quests or anything, any extra information we can have. Alright, well, cool. What else is around here? People, guards. Uh, what mission am I currently on? There's a corporate guard in front of us. Journal? Codex. Whatever. Um, stranger in a Strange Land. The Long Tomorrow. Well, let's do the Stranger in a Strange Land. Let's keep doing that. Find a power regulator. Because we don't want to do the Long Tomorrow right now. Oh, you just do that. Oh, what is this? Silas, collect payments. Yes, yeah, let's... Let's, mm, let's complete some payments first. That sounds like a little bit of fun. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got in. Just between us, Wilson deserted, lost his nerve, ran off in the thick of night. They can't see him. Damn, always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the salt too. You moron. Oh, hi, I didn't eavesdrop on that conversation whatsoever. So, yeah, okay, so Wilson was plagued. Who are you? Alright, well, let's see what happens. Oh, wait, there's more people over here. 
Town leader. Oh, we got the elevator. Is there anything else around here? Hello, can I take stuff? No? No free samples? Come on, man. Well, who's actually around here? Doesn't look like there's really much of anything in here. Vending. Vending machine. Oh. Oh. What do you got in here? Oh, offer varied of items to purchase, mostly from one company. Hack score of 20 or higher allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Restricted items on a vendor can only be purchased when you have a high enough reputation with the associated faction or a hack skill of 40 or higher. Cool. Oh, you can buy stuff. That's pretty normal. Oh, mag picks to pick locks. Stealing is not the answer. Stealing is a question. The answer is yes. Bypass shunt. Cool. What is... Ooh, fun times barrel. Weapon mod, of course. This is a backpack. Now... Um, cool. Let's see. Guns. What do they have for guns? 120 on sell value. Seven and a half. But it costs 120 to buy that. Holy goodness gracious. Um. I only have 61. I'm a poor boy. What is this? A bypass shunt. Let's see. Anything from weaponry we can sell? I don't want to sell ammo. Oh, that's worth even less. Oh, we could have gotten 20 somewhere else. I'll hold on to that and sell it later, I guess. Um, cool. Whatever. Wait, hold on. It says sell junk. Hold Z. Do I have any junk? I guess I have some junk. Also, if you're watching this way ahead of time, like... Like, years from now, or even months. This is my first time playing this game, so I have no idea what's going on. Terminal, logs. Um, anything interesting? No. Oh, let's go up. He calls an to explain the disaster. The grease monkey. Seems oh. we've got a guest. Hello. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. Hmm. I'll wait till he first. Let's be on his good side for now. You were saying, Miss Olga. It's just what Bess needs is a proper refurbish. I, I, I can bandage her up and what all, but she's just old. Sorry, I I'm sorry. I'll I'll do better. And I do wish you'd stop referring to our cannery as Bess. Personification of company property is strictly contrary to the Spacer's Choice Code of Conduct. My apologies. I am not in the habit of allowing my guests to witness such a row. Now, what can I do for you? I'm going to need you to fix your ear. It looks like it's almost on fire on the inside. Um, I'm not going to tell my Mr. Mocha lover because I'm telling everyone that I'm Alex Hawthorne, so... I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Um... Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Alright, well, let's be honest for now. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Frying myself? Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Mostly. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Hmm. I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Marauders. 
the people living in the botanical land. Oh. They're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. I charge by the head. Well, I'm not here to kill these people. I'm just here to get whatever I need, man. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Uh... Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. What if, oh yeah, that's a good question to ask. What if she doesn't want to come back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. Hmm. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. Well, let's see what, what we can do. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sorry. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine. And trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you, if you'd like. If you kindly. Sounds like we're getting a companion. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so... I'm all set! Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you. And thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Alright. Well, time to get married. Wait, what? Oh, companions. Uh, let's see characters that join you in your adventures and help in a variety of ways. Provide combat support, skills enhance your own skills, increase carrying capacity, and unlock special companion combat abilities with the inspiration skill. Oh, I feel like shooting him in the head right now, but let's not do that for now. Hello there. Can I steal this? There's nothing I can steal. Reed's key. Oh. Are you coming along? We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. All right, let, let's let's go. Okay, you're already in here. Cool. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Whee. And. Hey, Mister, can we talk? It's Mr. Sorry. Alex Hawthorne. Let's talk when you're free. Sorry, I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. Hmm. Deserters, figures... Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Hmm. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. Hmm. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. Uh-oh. All I know is she left after her son died. A real big to do. I can hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Well then. I don't know anybody well. I mostly listen to them talk, get my head down. There was a boy named Thomas who used to follow me around, asking questions about the stuff I fixed. He was real sweet to me. Not any sort of dissident. All right, so you can't leave it at that. Can't say as I know. I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt if you can get out to her. And let's finish off with this one. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but 
Every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Well, let's stop by, I suppose. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. All right, cool. Um, let's get over to the vicar, and then we might end the thing there. Let's see. I wish it was... I don't know if there's... There's probably a way for me to holster my Sorry, pistol, but... I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one. Oh, let's see. Proper guard. Well, let's go in here. Transmit to Emerald Veiled. Uh, yeah, we won't go here. Uh, is there a door? Um, oh, is there anything back here? Any sort of platforming? No? Doesn't look like it. Oh, we're probably going this way. Here we are. I've always felt weird in here. Well, cool. there is the vicar right there, but that's all the time for we have today, guys. Uh, next episode, we will go ahead and talk to the vicar, get some more opinions. We've got a woman following us as our companion, Parvati. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out my Discord link below, and I will catch you all tomorrow as we learn more about this town and the whole shebang about everything here. I hope you all have a tremendous day.